All right, welcome to the Glow Up series. Y'all, today's lesson is, if you wanna glow up, you gotta release all that frustration. And you're like, Crystal, what do you mean? I know you're frustrated. You're frustrated because you're waiting for God to show up in places he's not coming. And you're like, well, Crystal, how do you know he's not coming? Because you gotta understand the process of God. And to understand the process of God, you gotta look in Genesis chapter one. Here it goes. Step one, God says a thing. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. You know, he was like, let there be light. And then there was light. He said, part the waters. It parted the waters. He, you know, told all the things to happen and then the stuff started happening. If God hasn't given you a word concerning the relationship, the business, the job, the friend, the car, the thing that you are pursuing, he's not showing up. Because you know God going to show up when he tell you he going to show up. God is good like that. He's like, listen, do this, and then you do it, and then his presence is there, his favor is there, his provision is there. Listen, when God created the heaven and the earth, and then he got Adam and Eve, he put them in the garden. Guess what he made sure was in the garden before they got there? Food to eat, water to drink, all of these things. He made sure the provision was there. So you're showing up in situations where the provision isn't there, and then you're frustrated, and you're like, God, what's going on? And God is like... What do you mean what's going on? I didn't tell you to go over there in the first place. So your glow up, that glowing that you're looking for is going to start to happen when you start to let God's word lead your life, not you just rambling through to and fro here and there doing literally whatever, just trying to figure it out. You don't have to stumble through life like that, honey. You don't have to stumble through life. I'm here to help you stop stumbling through life. So here's the thing. If God didn't say it, don't do it. If God is literally telling you to stop doing it, stop doing it. Because all you're going to do is be frustrated. Frustrated in the whole process, with the whole situation, with all the happenings that are happening. Because it's not it. It's not it. And this is the thing. I don't want you to also get like stagnant. Because you're like, well, I didn't hear God's voice. I don't know if he's saying anything. Baby, God can do something with your movement. I already said that in, you know, part one. God can do something with your movement. And please believe, if you're in a place you're not supposed to be doing a thing you're not supposed to do, God is going to let you know. Whether he says it to you, whether the lack of provision says it to you, whether the lack of peace says it to you, there will be clear signs and wonders, because you'll be wondering what is going on that lets you know you need to get up out of that. About the relationship, about the house, about the car dealership, because that is not the car for you. Whatever the thing. That may be thinking. I'm just trying to be here to help. Understand the process of God. Where God is leading you, where God is sending you, he will make sure there is already provision there for you so that you're set, okay? Listen, don't judge me. I'm fixing my nails right now. I'm about to put on a new set of press-ons. So, you know, I'm here like that. But that's it. That's, that's what it is for today. Release the frustration. How do you release the frustration? By understanding the process of God. How do you understand the process of God? By looking at Genesis chapter 1. And I'm giving you a little big cliff note right here. God will provide where he is sending you. He will provide the finances. He will provide the peace. He will provide the clarity that we talked about in part 1. He will provide the courage, the faith, all the things that you need for life and godliness. Okay? So... Let's get on our glow up, girls, because I know I'm coming to you hard and fast, but that's because 2024 is coming hard and fast. It's not slowing down. Time is not waiting for you. We, we're not stopping the sun, okay? The sun is rising and setting. Days are coming and going. And I just want you to be glowed up by the time we get to 2024. Y'all, I don't know if the glow is coming through on y'all end like it is on my end, but the glow is real. And I want this glow for you, too. Because it's a holistic thing that occurs that allows for the glow to occur. And I'm laying this wig. And baby, I'm telling you right now, this joint goes slay. Make sure you come back and see that. But anyways, that's it for today.